we've looked at a few ways to use a computer to communicate with a modular synth. From MIDI to CV with machine, to CV through a DC coupled interface with reactor blocks, silent way, and more. Another, perhaps more modular way to interact with your Eurorack system is to create custom DC offset devices for Max for Live. One of the most powerful tools in computer audio, Max for Live combines the modular programming flexibility of Max from Cycling 74 with the composition powerhouse of Ableton Live. The added functionality allows users to access tools and even elements of the Ableton user interface, which are inaccessible in any other application. Let's go to the Max for Live menu in the Ableton browser. Select the Max audio effect device and load it onto an audio track. When we first load the device, we will see a very basic description of what this default patch does. We have two channels coming into the device through the plug-in object, which are routed directly back to the plug-out object, allowing audio to pass through the device. Let's hit the Edit button, which will open this default patch in the Max Editor. Here, we can edit the patch, accessing the power within the Max application. I'll select each of the wires shown and delete them so we can build our tool. To make a DC offset, we first need to figure out which Max objects to use to perform this function. I'll open the Object Explorer under the Object menu. Now, we want to add value to our audio signal, so we'll need to enable Show Math Operators, and then we can search for the plus sign. We'll see a number of different options, like Jitter, Max, and MSP. We want to look specifically for MSP, which is the audio handling branch of Max. These objects always have a tilde in the object name. Let's drag that object into the patch. I'll hover over the left edge of the object, clicking on the arrow that appears to show the drop-down menu. I'll select Help, and we can read more about what this object does. Use the plus tilde object to add signals or to add an offset value to a signal. Aha! I'll connect the output to one of the plug-out inlets. Now we need an object to control the offset value. Max for Live has a set of dedicated objects for easy use in Max for Live devices, which we can also find in the Object Explorer. I'll locate the Live.Dial object and drag it into the patch. Let's connect it to one of the plus tilde inlets. If I hold Command and click on the background of the patch, I can lock it and try turning the knob. Be sure to set your audio interface to an appropriate DC-coupled interface and output. I'll be using the ES8. Notice the signal on the live track in the background. The range of the dial seems to be an issue. As soon as the knob hits the value of 1, the signal starts to peak. Let's unlock our patch, command click on the background, and look at the dial settings. I'll select the dial and hit command I to bring up the inspector, where we can edit the functions of any object, in this case the knob, from its display colors to its range and values. I'll scroll down to the parameter section. I'll locate and edit the range of the knob by clicking on the value and replace the 0 to 127 steps with negative 1 space 1. This should give us bipolar DC offset from the negative range to the positive range. I'll also change the unit style to float so we can see the exact position of the dial. If we want our device to look like live, we can even change the display style to panel mode. We should now have a single channel DC offset. Repeat for a dual offset from the right output. We really don't need the plug-in input object for this tool, but to keep things kosher, we can connect the left and right inlets to the appropriate add tools. I'll clean things up a bit and hide all of the objects except for our two dials. I'll save the device, and we now have a usable Max for Live DC offset, which we can assign to a MIDI knob, an LFO MIDI tool, or anything else.
How are you using Max for Live with your system? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.